still snow up on the tops. Looks like a little wolf poop. So this morning, I spent a good part of the morning on Onyx hunt maps, kind of looking at where I've been, posting up waypoints, and then doing a lot of scouting to find a, a suitable area to try to set up today. So I selected this uh, track of uh, Stimson Lumber property that, that is part of the Idaho Large Tracks program. And uh, hiked out here, set up my call, and uh, see if we can get something to come in. Right now I'm using an elk calf in distress call. Fox Pro Fusion going on. We're in this big clear cut here. I'm at the edge of it. See if we can make something happen. <laughs> My main companion Leroy just resting here while we let the call do its work. Another companion on this trip is Grendel. My hunting rifle. Yes, Grendel is an AR-15. And yes, I hunt with an AR-15. AR-15s are not just assault rifles. They are just another way to get a projectile down the field. Uh, the great thing about the AR-15 is that it's truly modular. Like every piece of this weapon can be changed out to get a fully customized fit that allows me to be more accurate with it. And most of the time people get a rifle and they make it work, but or have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get a truly customized rifle. With the AR-15, you can swap everything out and, and make it fit your, your style and your body, which is great for small or women shooters. Um, uh, I had a friend that couldn't find a rifle to fit her, and I helped her shoulder a lot of different weapons, and none of them really fit her right. And then she tried an AR-15, and because everything is adjustable on it, it fit her superbly and she shot excellent with it. This particular AR-15, which is made by Arthuris Rifle Company, is chambered in 50 Beowulf. It is a 50 caliber AR-15. The 50 Beowulf has ballistics that are similar to the uh, 4570 government. Uh, so it's a short range thump around. I'm running Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrators, 420 grains. So this setup is pretty good for me out to about uh, 300 yards. I can change out the upper and use my 6.5 Grendel upper and that reaches, that. then I can reach out to a thousand yards with it. Uh, and I can carry that Grendel upper on my back and change it out in the field as necessary. Uh, and it's just, you change the upper receiver and you're shooting a new caliber. On this, firearm i just have a primary arms 2.5 prism scope on it that's all i need to reach out to a 300 yard range this is not a weapon that i'm going to be reaching out to a thousand yards with so i run that scope on this one as well as a bowers verse 50 suppressor uh and this combination is very accurate for me and it's a great short range thumping round when my goal is to put animals down like I don't want them running off getting lost and so the, the quicker I can put them down and give them a, a quick more humane uh, end uh, the better and that's why I choose this for my short rage option as I just stated I run a suppressor on my rifle and you may ask why 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 would you do that you're not in a tactical situation and i'm telling you suppressors are 
for way more than tactical situations for evading people. Uh, there is every reason in the world for hunters to use a suppressor on their rifle. First and foremost is hearing protection. Uh, when the when you're hunting with hunting ammunition, um, you know you, the the bullet is going subsonic, or excuse me, the bullet is going supersonic above the speed of sound, which means when it crosses that plane, just like an airplane, there's a bit of a sonic boom. That's the crack that you hear when uh, when you when you fire off a round, pull the trigger, uh, and that can be pretty detrimental to your hearing. And now you say, why not just wear hearing protection? Well. Me as a hunter, and most hunters, like to hear the forest when we're out here. We want to hear the nuances, the sounds, the cracks of little branches, uh, the sounds of all animals calling in the distance. There's so many things that you miss when you when you put a set of uh, earmuffs over your ears. And so, most hunters go in the field without ear protection, but when the opportunity to harvest an animal comes, it comes quick and there is probably not going to be time for you to reach in your pack, put on your hearing protection, and then and then uh, get a beat on the animal. Sometimes there is, but most of the time, in my experience at least, there's not. So having a suppressor protects your ears as it muffles it and it directs the sound away from you. But it also gives you an opportunity for potential follow-up shots because it's a little bit harder for the animals to locate exactly where the shot is coming from. And so there's a, a plus there. Um, if you happen to be shooting in areas where there's where you're fairly close to urban areas, it reduces the noise pollution to your neighbors and, and reduces the noise pollution in the forest. Otherwise, you're not frightening everything in the entire forest so that you're not ruining your, your hunting area completely if you happen to squeeze off a shot and miss and still want to continue hunting. So, in my opinion, there is every reason in the world and no reason not to, uh, to add a suppressor to your rifle. Um, I plan on getting more for my other rifles myself. Oh, well, after a good few days out here, I'm going to call it for the weekend. I'm heading home. Got some chores I need to get do, done, so I'll do that tomorrow since we've got Monday off. Uh, one thing I did not anticipate is the number of people that were out here. Of course it's Memorial Day weekend, but there was camps everywhere. And I want to get away from the people because my, my, uh, the game will avoid people. And uh, still too much snow to get to a lot of the areas that I want to get to. Uh, it's just a weird year. There's still an, an impassable amount of snow on a lot of the mountain roads and still a lot of trees over the roads as well. So this was a good first outing. I saw a lot of areas. I, s I found some areas that look more viable than the others, but it's all about solving the puzzle and figuring them out. And uh, it's a new type of hunting for me, so it'll take some time, but uh, it's fun learning, it's fun getting out, it's fun seeing new country, and uh, I'll be back to this area soon. We'll see if we can get her done.